What's up, y'all? Welcome back to No Covers. You're here with Gino and the lovely... Chevy Lene. Man, we had a good time at um, No Covers, but we always got to get y'all the good stuff. When we're talking about relationships... Sex. We're talking about intimacy. Sex. And we're talking about more sex. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do around here. I know y'all love it, though. I love it. I love to talk to y'all, so y'all make sure y'all talk back, and y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Yes, comment, too. We like interaction. Definitely do. And um, we want y'all to interact with these comments, what we're going to do today. Well, sorry, comments. These topics. Yeah, that's not me. Let's get into this thing, you know? <laughs> Keep it going. So what topics we, what are we going with this today? Uh, we're, we're talking about orgasms. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Oh, man. <laughs> got some pointers. <laughs> you got some pointers? <laughs> I do. Hey, look. There are certain women out there who have never had a, had a man to make them orgasm. Like, certain ladies know how to have a clitoral orgasm. Mm -hmm. But that G-spot orgasm, that's the one. That's the rush. That's the one you want. There yeah, I watched a video on the, on, on that uh, different orgasms, and I, I won't even get in that. But my question is, are women out here not having orgasms? How many men do you know really know the female anatomy? I know what I know. I don't know what they know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they know. Well, I know that what might I be know. the problem. Hey, well, it ain't no problem for me. Hey, I'm hey. just saying. <laughs> Hey, I'm good. Now, if y'all need some help out there getting that orgasm, you know Gino got you. <laughs> Don't be scared to holler at me. He gonna give you a title <laughs> as a sex expert. <laughs> hey, I got a little knowledge. I got a little knowledge to give and a lot of love to spread. So, you know, hey, <laughs> this is what we do. But we're also going to talk about um, hipping up appearances while in a relationship. You know, looking good. Keeping keeping that thing going. Uh, we finna talk about you lazy bitches with them bonnets on going everywhere. Oh, yeah, we definitely going. And, and, and uh, uh, tights, you know. <laughs> Keep your stomach. Or, keep your stomach out of your tights. See now, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Hey, I'm fucking, I'm fucking but if you're gonna don't put your stomach you in your that. tights, you know, put a little body shape on, some spanks or something. Oh, so you got There's it. always, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. Oh, okay. Look, she out there giving a woman game too. You know, you know. I, I do this. Yeah, but fellas, don't you know, don't don't get bogged down and be in a relationship and get lazy as well, because you know your woman want to see you looking good. I know you out there making the money, making the big bucks, but they won't to see you looking good, smelling good as well. So, you know, do y'all thing too. All right. Okay. So, when we, when we go out here to put our shit together and to look good, wait, I want to make sure you want to talk about that one first. We go out here and oh, come no, put our shit together. Yeah, keep right. it going. Let's right. do this here. You know, I want to roll in topics. I ain't want to be over talking. When I go out here to put my good shit on, right, mm -hmm. and, you know, we look as a unit because, yeah. you know, you're, your spouse is supposed to be an accessory. Like, you're supposed to compliment your swag. So, like, if we go somewhere together, you're supposed to look like you belong to me. I'm supposed to look like I belong to you type shit, right? Yeah. Why is it that we could go out and we could do all of these things and get dressed? Ladies, we go get dressed. We fly when we go out with our homegirls and shit. Time to go out with your man, some of y'all. It's the most basic outfits you've ever seen. Is is it because number one you don't want to cause that attraction, like cause that attention for a guy to keep turning, and it might cause an issue for the man? Like, is that a man thing? That's a good thing. I, let me speak on that. I'm glad you're talking about that because uh, I'm a little older now, of course. Uh, when I was younger, uh, I used to wear a lot of Jordans, and um, I still like Jays every now and then. But I don't, I don't really get down with the uh, DCs or the. Um, the Fazos, what they call them? Uh, oh, they, yeah, they really, they really they got, with it now. Yeah, they the got Fazos. so many. Yeah, they got so many different names for them. But the Air Force Ones, you know, that's that's their name. Uh, so, you know, I used to um, go into different establishments. You know, when I'm pitching my business or or collecting my money or depositing my money, and it's always women in those establishments. And I, you know, I'm young and I'm asking them questions like, "Hey, you know, what, what do y'all like a guy to wear?" Because at this point in time, I, I like to dress. Uh, I like to dry. I, I got my thug clothes. Okay. <laughs> I got my hood clothes. You know, some people, whatever they call them. Um, I got my uh my my nice clothes or uh, my Easter Sundays. You know, okay. Even though I ain't going to church with you, but uh, <laughs> I got my uh, I I got all my different attire. I like to dress how I'm dressed now for the most part mm -hmm. um but i wanted to know what women think and a lot of women actually you know they they didn't have a mindset how they wanted their man to dress it's like oh 
Um, I like nice jeans and J's. So I think a lot of guys don't know because they're not getting that information from their women. So and vice versa. Yeah. I think that's a big thing. So uh, what I would say, first of all, I like my men clean cut. Like jeans and J's is fine. That's not an issue. But every now and then, I want to see you dressed up. I want to see you in a nice cardigan or whatever it is that your style is. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Because at the end of the day. I want to show off what I have as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I got a bomb-ass nigga, too. Like, let me, sh let me show man off, too. Gotcha. So, jeans and J's, they are okay, they, but... They're, like, you know, I'm hood as fuck, so... Yeah. Jeans and J's don't bother me, but, you know, I'm glitz and glam as well. So, if we going somewhere where jeans and J's are appropriate, then that's fine. But, if we going out and about, and I'm going out as Chevy Lene, you have to look like you're going out with Chevy Lene. Like, so dress the part. That's it. Yeah. Play your position and dress the part. So that's if you're going to the club, you know, throw on your jeans and J's. Um, if you're going out to a nice restaurant, throw on your, you know, your nice slacks, a nice button up, that's you know. It. And you switch it up. It's okay. You might be going somewhere with a rock star lifestyle, looking like you look right now. That's look, right. looking real rock star. Another jacket too. Let's go. Get us yeah. a bike. <laughs> exactly. So y'all riding together. Make sure you got on the right material. But uh, it, it, it's just important to make sure that you don't forget that your partner want to see you exactly how they saw you when they first say, "Okay, That's well." Right. That, I need that right there. You need that reminder yeah. on why you picked that person. Exactly. That's dope. And you better keep that reminder. Fellas, make sure make sure you be sure that, you know, hey, miss me who you met. Like, okay, I ain't playing games. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> definitely keep up those uh, those those good looks in a relationship. Don't, don't get too lazy because we all fall into the rut, especially when we be making money. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I just want to throw on some sweats and run out today. I definitely agree. You know, sweats and all of that is, is very easy. It's, it's easy access. You yeah. know, we put them sweats on off and now we talking orgasms. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Well, this is just talk about the orgasms. Then we don't want to leave all because you can. Can you get an orgasm if you if you uh, if your uh, spouse is looking good, your man or your woman looking good? Can that lead to the orgasm? I believe it can. I, I'm not going to say that alone uh -huh. can, but, it, has but to be I, a part. it definitely makes the experience just that much better. Nobody wants to fuck someone they got to put a bag over. Oh no, no, nobody wants to do. I mean, that. some of you do, yeah. but. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's easy for men because we gonna we gonna get our thing going. I don't. I know mean, you guys a, are gonna come no matter yeah, what. We, that, well, we are. Yes, we are coming along for the ride, and <laughs> you know, and I'm bringing you along with me if you no come. No matter what, with me. some hey. ladies have no idea what they doing. Sometimes yeah. it's about the positioning. Like sometimes, sometimes you ladies need to position yourself differently so he can reach a G spot. You might be cramming yourself up, or you're not like spread out enough, or whatever the case may. Maybe stretch, love. Mm, stretch, hey. Man, make make her stretch. Put her in those positions that, like, leg right here. Hey, I ain't, look, I, look that's for another episode. Hey, the, hey the look, I always again. gotta go. Hey, look, man, cause. I, when I get to talk about sex, hey, that's why you got when you talk when we come on here. I didn't do it. When we come up here and you start talking about hey, sex, I, sex, hey. I didn't tell you, you to get people a demonstration. Hey, <laughs> you, we, we, well, that's what we need. We need to bring a model out here and I can show you the position oh that y'all need to be put in. Look, I mean, look out sex. for your sex ed book. Hey, look, <laughs> hey, look, I mean, I'm, look, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna help the woman and the man out because I'm gonna show y'all, man, what you know, you how to work it, you know. It's gonna be called G knows the G spot. <laughs> Show the woman how you need to be done. You know? Yeah, flexing and, and sexing. <laughs> That's what we doing. I, I'm weak. He flexing hey, and sexing. I got to make sure you say these women ain't getting orgasms. They, right, and look. some of them, they aren't. But some of y'all don't do Kegel exercises and shit like that. Strengthen that vaginal floor, sis. Hold that thing. Look. Look, brothers, I got to talk to y'all today, man. Hey, look, it's a certain type of positions that you can put women in if you're not if you're not used to. From the back is all right. If you want to, you know, if, you, if it ain't back. gonna reach from there, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not all right. Don't okay, even waste well, your goddamn time. Well, you know if you're wasting your time. <laughs> if you don't know if you're wasting your time, at some at some point in time, a woman gonna tell you, um, or you're gonna know because they're never gonna come back. <laughs> I don't have those problems, so I'm here to I'm teach. So <laughs> I'm here to teach. From the back is all right. Missionary is cool, but it's some. It's sometimes you gotta pick the, uh, you know, hit it from the side, pick that leg up, <laughs> <laughs> hit that leg. Up. <laughs> I ain't seen <said> nothing. <laughs>
I gotta get it right. We gonna bring you a projector screen. Hey, we gonna, hey, hey, right here. I'm telling you, it's you know, dude, you gotta do certain things. And for all the extra thug niggas out there, this nah, you 30 years old, you still talk about you ain't eating no pussy like dog. You just you lost in the salt. So I mean, don't go out and don't pitch your face in everything. I I don't I don't advocate for that. But you know, if you got your woman, you make you need to please her and make sure that thing coming. And um, you need to make sure you licking at the right spot when you do it. You need to get down there and do it the right way so we can connect these facial hairs. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <Ain't> my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the juice hey, catchers. Hey, hey, they, they facial hair hey, connect. <laughs> hey, you killing me, man. <laughs> Hey, look. This is the wildest <laughs> shit. And we know, right? It, now you're going to be looking at dudes like, yo, his, his, his shit ain't connecting. Like, he ain't doing it right. Like, <laughs> make sure you get in the, in the sniper position and do it right. You get you get relaxed. Shit. <laughs> if it take, position. Look, man, if it takes so long that you got to rest your head on her thighs and get it done, then do that. I mean, you know, but, you know, don't be a sucker with it. You know, make sure she returns the favor. <laughs> Y'all stay encouraged. <laughs> 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 we talking about getting that orgasm. Like as a man, we don't have to worry about an orgasm as all at, for us. Right. I hope you don't. Some dudes fake or I, I'd have had to fake it to get out of because it's like yo, I'd have had enough oh, of this. Oh, her pussy you was know. whack as fuck. You had to fake it. I mean, you know. <laughs> since you was Sahara Drive, I, no, I, was, I was young at the time. I, you know, but nowadays as I'm older, it's like okay, well, if, if, it, it may not be meant for me to actually come. Man, it's just like, look, just I'm leave. done. Don't and... fake it. Just have one of your homeboys <laughs> or somebody call. Like I said, that was years ago. <laughs> I ain't know no better. It was just like I was tired of her. It, it, it could have been a different reason, but like you said in another episode, if you want to hear those stories from me, then, you know, y'all make sure y'all um, um, comment below and I'll give you those stories. Definitely tell Gina that, we want the war stories. Yeah, yeah. And make sure y'all <laughs> like and subscribe and all of that too, but also, you know, sometimes it ain't meant for, the, for you to finish Man, it's not always meant for you to finish in that way. So, you know, if you don't get your orgasm all the time, it's, it, it may be cool in that position. Mm-hmm. When you did, no, 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 when you're dealing with your woman, because sometimes you, I, I work my ass off. So, you know, I'm if I'm going too long, it's like, yo, you know, she done came two and three and four and five and six. Let me stop there. <laughs> we can't just have celebratory, you know, I, I got to have a celebratory moment after these orgasms and I ain't trying to go celebrate by myself. So we're going to have to do this thing together and then get some rest. Like, that's how that works. Yeah, well, that's what it's called. <laughs> we, I definitely, um, you know, you that's what you definitely want to do. You want to make her calm. You want to get your, you want to get yours off and, you know, but all the time it, it, it may not end in that, in that way true. for you because, um, like you said, for women, for some of the women, it's not, they have never experienced that. I don't know how. Mm. Um, but Therapy whatever. is in order for them, though. Is Ther- what? Therapy is in order. Imagine being a grown ass woman and never came. Imagine being a grown ass man and never came. Heartbreak. Oh, my. Um, shit. <laughs> no covers. <laughs> Listen, you guys, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This is the wildest set out right now. No covers where we talk about everything. I'm more to say. <laughs> Peace. Bye.